Shot. Come here, man. I got a bone to pick with you. Oh, nothing like a good night's sleep to mellow you out, right? Oh, yeah? Hey, listen, man. What's between Sabrina and me ain't none of your business. Well, I don't think it's any of your business either. She's not interested. Yeah, she was until you came along. I doubt that. Hey, listen, Stretch. I'm gonna have to teach you some manners. Ah! Oh, gee, I hope you can ride with that bad hand today. Come, meet the eighth wonder of the world. The discovery of the car occurred some years ago, Roger. Yes, but this car talks. <laughs> Go ahead. Say a few words to my cameraman. I guess it's not in a talkative mode. Come on, metalhead, say something. You do, but yes, I just. Would you? I. I. What happened? Traitor! That show is. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Science Security Rings. We need all the riders to the starting area, please. I'm Larry Huffman, and we're expecting some exciting racing this afternoon with top riders like Kelly Travis, Lee Carstairs, and Wade Fontaine. All out here today, and they are ready to go for the Champagne Glory and Gold. The top riders from across the country gathered here on a beautiful afternoon. The temperature in the 80s, we've got a fast track, and we are set for some very exciting racing. <laughs> And welcome back to Talk About. We're at the Oakside Charity Race, which is about to begin any minute. Yes, and Roger will be giving you a blow-by-blow. Blow. Well, I raced myself over to the finish line to give the lucky first placer a great big victory kiss. Uh, <laughs> no, Darlena, I'm scheduled to be at the finish line. Oh, now, Roger, do you really think that these awesome athletes are going to want a victory kiss from you? <laughs> what? You've gone too far this time, Webster. Oh, slow down. Cut. Cut. Cut donuts, boys. Look, it's done. <laughs> And now the whole country is expecting me to be at the finish line. <laughs> You're going the wrong way, bimbo brain. I've got to change my attire. You don't expect me to be seen in this old thing. I was doing Shakespeare before this. Coming out now is Kelly Travis. Trippin' may have changed, but the raw excitement remains the same. I'd rather miss it. Hi. Hi. Michael, you still look worried. Maybe we should postpone the race. No, all I've got is a feeling. That's not enough to cancel all the work that's gone into this. No, of course not. I think it's time to give the officials the green light. Why is Kelly doing that? Ah, oh, it's his style. Getting attention. Seems like an awful lot of trouble. Well, what they call it is promotion. It's the name of the game around here. Without it, wait a minute. Promotion, that might be it. What do you mean? I'll talk to you later. The young gladiators of racing up on the line now, and you gotta wonder what is going through their mind. Number six, Lee Carstairs, certainly one of the favorites. Next to him, number 11, George Cutter. Then, number 25, and that's Kelly Travis, and a lot of people have turned out for him. Number 30, the incredible Scott Crosby. Then on the outside, Wade Fontaine. Fontaine eyes the start, the starting area, and again, very important the start for a race such as this. There's the start! Kelly Travis, number 
there's very little difference between motorcyclists and lemmings jumping off cliffs. Right now, I need your attention on something a little less hairy. I want you to access Lee Carstairs' agency contracts. Every time I interface with agency computers, I come away wanting to count my circuits. Must I? Yeah, just do it. I think I found a motive here. In that case, I'll take a chance. Put out in front, side by side. Kelly Travis, Lee Carstairs, and Wade Fontaine. Into the turn now. It is still Travis in front. Carstairs, Fontaine. Look out. Just what I thought, Kit. Every one of Lee's endorsement contracts ends this year. I don't understand the connection. Lee said it himself. Those endorsements are his bread and butter. Without them, he can't make ends meet. What does that have to do with this race? Lee has to win to reestablish himself as a champion, or no advertisers are going to touch him. Kelly's the only rider equal to Lee. I bet you Lee got caught up in his own sabotage last year, and Danny got the worst of it. Are you going to stop the race? That's like stopping a stampede. No, kid. You and I have just become the first four-wheeled motorcycle team in history. Let's try those high traction drop downs. And it seems there is no separating Travis and Carstairs as they continue to share the lead, as they have since the beginning of the race. Michael, I'm developing a modicum of respect for these motorcycles. This is rather hard on the frame. The bones don't have it any easier, pal. Looks like I've got a little challenge for you, partner. I hate to do this to you. That's all right, Michael. It's for charity. Hold on. We're going through. Hey! That was great! Maybe we do have a future as a racing team. Heaven forbid, Michael. Bringing up the rear are McNamer, Hart, and a big black car. Sonar indicates that.